click the bell icon to get latest videos from ekida hello friends we will discuss one question where supplier is ready to supply products in fixed quantities only in that case how we can use economic order quantity concept let us read the question the following details are available inventory requirement per year 6000 units cost per unit other than carrying and ordering cost rupees 5 carrying cost per item for one year rupees 1 cost of placing an each order is rupees 60 alternative orders sizes 2000 units 1200 units 1000 units 600 units 200 units determine economic order quantity here alternative order sizes means supply size is fixed that means i can order quantity 2000 but i can't order 1900 I can order twelve hundred, but I cannot order thirteen hundred. I can order thousand, but I cannot order nine hundred units at a time. I can order six hundred, not six hundred and fifty. That means supply size is fixed. annual demand is given 6000 units we can consider different order size 2000 1200 1000 600 and 200 carrying cost per item for one year is rupees 1 cost of placing each order rupees 60 we'll find out number of orders if annual demand is a order size is q number of orders will be a divided by q cost of placing each order is rupees 60 so number of orders multiplied by rupees 60 total carrying cost per unit we have here it has to be referred to average stock that is size of order divided by 2 here in this case order size is 2000 so 2000 divided by 2 so it will be 1000 multiplied by carrying cost per unit Two thousand multiplied by half, one thousand multiplied by one, twelve hundred multiplied by half, six hundred multiplied by one, one thousand multiplied by half, multiplied by one, six hundred divided by half, multiplied by one, 
200 divided by half multiplied by 1. Now we can calculate total cost. That is total carrying cost plus total ordering cost. So we got the figure of total cost, which is including ordering cost and carrying cost. If we compare all these figures, if our order size is 2000 units, it will be 1180. At order size of 1200 units, it is rupees 900. At order size of 1000, it will be 860. At order size of 600, it will be 900. At order size of 200, it will be 1900. We will compare all these figures and we are required to select the lowest one. So here lowest one is 860 which is relating to order size of 1000 units. So here economic order quantity will be determined as 1000 units. So as per tabular method economic order quantity is 1000 units is determined by the lowest cost rupees 860. Now in this same case, we'll try to find out by equation amount of economic order quantity. Annual demand here we have 6,000 units. Ordering cost per order rupees 60. Carrying cost per unit rupees 1. Economic order quantity is equal to square root of 2AO divided by C. So as per formula method, we are getting economic order quantity units 849. As per table method, we got it as 1000 units. Because here we can either order 1000 units or 600 units. There is no option of ordering more or less units because we are getting supply in fixed quantities. As order size is fixed, we can't order 849 units economic order quantity. Therefore, we have to order next lot size that is 1000 units, which is economic order quantity as per table method. So in this question, we have learned how we can select a fixed order size based on economic order quantity calculated as per equation. Thanks for watching this video. Stay in tune with Ikita and subscribe to our channel Ikita. Thank you.